have more on your forecast coming up in the next half hour. Well, we expose the dangers of Chinese drywall used in homes across South Florida in some special reports. And this morning, we're helping you make sure you are living safely in your home environment. Joining us now, Simon Hassey, uh, toxicologist, we should say, and scientific director of AirMD with some ways to test the quality of your hair at home. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, what is Chinese drywall for folks who don't know? Chinese drywall is the, is the drywall that's placed on, in your home. However, the source that it comes from is from China. And the issues that we're seeing are uh, excessive amounts of sulfurous compounds being emitted into the air as a result of its composition. And what does that mean for the, the layperson who lives in one of these homes? For the layperson, what that means is that they're living in a home that has a lot of uh, rotten eggs or sulfurous type smells in their home. They're seeing a de degradation of different materials in their home, including their air conditioning units. The coils are getting rusted. We're seeing uh, the wiring, copper wiring, turning black. And we're also seeing uh, other issues as well. And uh, if you are, if you have home, we're looking at some of this video mm -hmm. behind this here. I don't know if they can take it full, but the drywall is something that you can start seeing spots on faucets. Right? Yeah, anything with a co copper alloy in it, you'll start to see uh, corrosion and you'll start to see a blackening of, of the material. So if it's corroding metal, what is it doing to our bodies? Well, right now they haven't fully established the health effects. However, what we're seeing is sensory irritation and different um, symptomatic responses from these uh, compounds that are present in the air. Long term, toxic effects have not been established yet. However, there are studies undergoing right now. And we're talking things like nosebleeds, coughing, coughing. asthmatic type symptoms Absolutely. for people just living in homes like this, right. right? Okay, and for folks who are wondering whether their home might be, and there's the spotted uh, spots on the faucet we were talking about right. there on the metal earlier. For those who are wondering if their home might be at risk for something like this, what was the time period in which most of this Chinese drywall was installed? It was installed from 2003 onwards as a result of a shortage of drywall being available in the United States. So it was imported from China um, to make up that loss. And there just hasn't been any regulation on that and testing up until now. Up until now, the, there hasn't been, there, the awareness has not been there, but now we're seeing more and more people forced out of their homes as a result, a result of this issue. And people are at a loss because they have no guidance as to how to move forward. So they really need someone you know, to help them through the process, to help them understand and give them direction that they need. And that's where Simon comes in. He will be back with us in our 8 o'clock hour. Until then, you can find more information about his company w on WPBF.com and look under the scene on 25 section. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time.